Hey, Amrita, thanks for uh, joining the call today. I'm so looking forward to talking with you about accountability. Uh, we have discussed being accountability partners, and I want to hear a little bit more about what you're looking for in this partnership. So um, I mentioned to you, I started reading this book that I was referred to called Lead Generate. Yes. Um, and it's a 61 day program. It could be longer if you don't do seven days a week, just do five days a week. So I thought, you know, um, I needed something more structured and rigorous to really get me um, on this track of building a habit, not just yes. doing something I have to do and supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So this book was a highly recommended book. Um, started reading it and into a couple pages it said stop the book right now go find an accountability partner who is going to basically make sure and hold you accountable for the fact that you're going to lead generate and okay. the goal is going to be you know an hour a day or x number of contacts a day and so I stopped the book and I thought of you because I need someone who is not going to be kind um, and you know understanding of my excuses or be nice to me I need someone who's going to hold me truly accountable and so okay. I thought of you, um, even though I do have another accountability partner that I work with once a week for our goals, we both do it for each other. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I needed someone who is in this business, specifically lead generation, and there's no one else that I could think of that would be a better fit for that than you. Well, I appreciate that. And I am recording this call because when it comes to accountability, you are professing that you're gonna do something. And it's one thing to tell me, but once we put it out there, you have so many people who love you yeah. and respect you and love your hustle. They're going to be checking in with you to see how you're doing and if you're staying on task. And so I so look forward to, to keeping up with you through them and their activity and checking in with you every day. Yeah. So this is a, a broadcast for anyone who knows me, um, whether you're in the office or a friend of mine or however you're connected with me, question me and, and harass me, if you will, on whether I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Absolutely. The thing that I'm committing to right here, right now. And so what exactly are you committing to right now? So correct me if I'm wrong, based on our conversation, I am committing to Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. I will make a minimum of five contacts a day. Mm -hmm. um, and if I reach that before an hour, um, I will continue and do a minimum of an hour um, of lead genning a day and the lead gen could be through whatever source I use whether it's my event whether it's my sphere or it's the cold calling whatever it may be um, but I need to build a habit that's what really this is really about you know the leads will come in I get the referral calls all the time yes um, my database is 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 everything which is perfect great um, but I need to build a habit of doing something which I don't currently have because this is not my this is not my forte or wasn't my forte up until two years ago. So okay. if I'm going to do something, I might as well build it correctly from the beginning. So one thing I always say is not about what you expect, it's about what you inspect. And so as far as me holding you accountable, what are we going to do to make sure that I'm tracking your activity every day? So I will be sending you a screenshot of either my Vulcan 7 screen that shows how many calls I did, how long I was on the phone, who I connected with, or I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper. Um, and you have the right to investigate if you choose to do so, whether I actually made those calls and not, versus me just writing down names and numbers that I called when I don't really call them. So integrity is a, a key aspect of this. Obviously, I'm Absolutely. cheating myself if I cheat you. Very true. Um, but you will have the right to dig and see if I actually made that phone call by looking at my call log or whatever it may be and see the number of minutes where I engaged with that person on that phone on the day that I said I did. That's fair. What is the consequence when you don't make your five contacts? A thousand dollars that you get to cash. And so you're writing a check out yep. and you're going to put that in my box and you're going yep. to text me a picture of you putting it in my box. Correct. If you do not keep your commitment to yourself, not to me, to yourself. Correct. That check gets cash and that's going to be painful for you, correct? Correct. It will. All right. That thousand dollars could be spent on so many other things right now that I'm not spending that money on. Yes. Um, so it would be, it would be a sin for me to just let it slip out of my hands like that I when I have the control of holding on to it. And here's the thing. Here's what I know. When you start making these five contacts a day, you're going to say that was a breeze. I can do 10. Yeah. And yeah. when you start doubling how many people you talk to every day, guess what's going to show up? 
Results. Listings, results, appointments, yeah. listings. That's what you want. Yep. So I really appreciate the opportunity to hold you accountable. Know that I'm going to do this. Know yeah. that if you don't hit your goal, I will cash that check. I know. You've and done it before. You, I have done it before. <laughs> and you know me, I'm big on social media. So this is a journey that you and I will have together. But I'm going to yeah. be checking in on you and also sharing because people are going to want to know yeah. what's been going on with you and what results are you having and are you holding yeah. yourself accountable? And uh, I'll be sharing some of that through my, my Instagram stories and also on the Push Facebook group. Yep. This is definitely a story to follow and the pressure is on and for me to start forming this habit. Well, again, here's what I know about you. You have a big why, you are a hustler and you would never allow me to cash that check. And I don't want to cash that check. You will not be cashing that check. That's what's up. I wish you the best and I look forward to checking in with you every morning at what time? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. So I get the results from you at 10 or before every day. And we need to synchronize our watches because if it's 10 or one, yeah. I have 339. What time do you have? 339. There we go. We're yeah. synchronized. Yeah. I wish you the best. I'm looking forward to seeing your results. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.